This movie starts with voice over of an old legend, who told about a hidden canyon, guarded by the Apache gods and rich with gold. As long as the Apaches kept the canyon a secret and never touched the gold, they would be strong, powerful. When the Spanish conquistadores came, they searched for that canyon. They called it Canyon of Gold, but they never found it. 300 years later, the Americans came. They heard about the legend, but they called the canyon, the Lost Adams. That was because a man named Adams, saw it once, but whether he did he never saw anything, again, because the Apaches burned out his eyes. Everybody knew about that legend and a lot of people believed it. Back in 1874, an old Native American shaman named Prairie Dog finds McKenna and tries to shoot him but with the very first shot where McKenna rolls over behind the rock while being shot and forced to kill him. McKenna thereby comes into possession of a map that supposedly shows the way to the treasure. Though skeptical, he memorizes the directions before burning the map. While being tracked by the U.S. cavalry, Mexican outlaw John Colorado and his gang look for Prairie Dog to get the map. They take shelter in the house of an old judge in Hadleyburg, kill the judge and kidnap his daughter, Inga Bergman, to use as a hostage in case the cavalry catches up with them. Colorado finds McKenna digging a grave for Prairie Dog. When he sees that McKenna has burned the map, he takes McKenna captive, planning to force him to lead them to the gold. They return for the night to Colorado's secret hideout to be safe from both the cavalry and marauding Apaches, who are also seeking the gold. The gang is made up of outlaws, including Colorado's right-hand man, Sanch, and several Indians, among them a hulking Apache warrior named Hachita and a fiery Apache woman, Heshke. Colorado and his companions feel vengeful towards McKenna. He had previously run them out of the territory, and Heshke and McKenna were once lovers. But she rejected him after he arrested her brother, who was tried and hanged. When, at the night McKenna meets Inga, she cries for her father's death. While sleeping, Hachita tries to annoy Inga. McKenna saves her. The next morning, Ben Baker, a gambler from the town of Hadleyburg, arrives with assorted townsmen who have caught gold fever. They have learned about Colorado's plans, including of his hideout, when one of Colorado's men named Laguna got drunk in town and said too much. Colorado is forced to allow them to join his party. Colorado kills Laguna for disclosing his plans. The townsmen include two wandering Englishmen who overheard Baker's conversation with the others, a newspaper editor, a storekeeper, a preacher who has convinced himself that God wants him to get a share of the gold and do great religious deeds with it, and blind Adams of the legend himself. Colorado persuades old Adams to retell the story of how he discovered the canyon. The tale further raises the hopes of the gold seekers, but later when McKenna sneaks off and warns a few of them to return home, that they will just get themselves killed searching for gold that does not exist. However, when Colorado steps in and reveals that McKenna shot Prairie Dog, the townsmen, who never liked McKenna, are convinced to continue the journey. The cavalry, led by the cunning Sergeant Tibbs, has been following Colorado's party closely, and has without knowing it camped just outside his hideout. The party bypasses the cavalry by an ingenious diversion, during which McKenna tries unsuccessfully to escape with Inga. But shortly thereafter the cavalry ambushes the party at a waterhole, and most of the non-core members of the gang are killed. The remaining gold hungers continue on their way, and as they near the canyon, McKenna and Inga begin to fall in love. A jealous Heshke, who now wants McKenna back, twice tries to kill Inga but both times he stops her. The cavalry is continuing its pursuit, and Sergeant Tibbs periodically sends messengers back to his base to keep it informed of his whereabouts. Eventually, the patrol is whittled down to just Tibbs and two others. Tibbs kills them and persuades Colorado he should be allowed to join the gang. After another shootout with the Apaches and crossing dangerous river rapids, they reach Shaking Rock, the location where According to the map, the gold is. McKenna tells Colorado they will see the canyon the next morning. That night, Tibbs tries to enlist McKenna in a conspiracy against Colorado, but McKenna wants no part of it. Then, McKenna and Colorado talk in almost a friendly way. McKenna says that he wants his guns and the girl and if there is no gold he still expects that Colorado will keep his word, and asks about what Colorado plans to do with his share of the gold. Colorado reveals that he is not going to waste his share of the gold in bars and clubs but shows McKenna a copy of the magazine and McKenna realizes that Colorado's ambition is to live as a millionaire in Paris. He advises Inga to be alert for any opportunity to escape. When Inga protests that she too wants some gold, he tells her there is no gold, 
that he has been bluffing. McKenna and Inga embrace, with Heshke looking on enviously. Hachida spends the night looking at the moon. The next morning everyone is up and mounted before sunrise. When the first beam of sunlight shines down, it sets off an optical reaction that startles the horses. Then the shadow of the pinnacle of Shaking Rock starts to move. Watching this, McKenna for the first time believes in the legend. The shadow eventually ends at a hidden passageway cutting into a mountainside. They ride through it and emerge on the other side. They see below them a large vein of pure gold. As all race to the canyon floor, Heshke tries to kill Inga, but Inga fights back and Heshke falls to her death. Once on the floor, while Colorado and Tibbs celebrate their great fortune, McKenna, realizing that Colorado does not intend to leave any of the party alive, tries to escape with Inga up the canyon wall. Tibbs is killed by Hachita and Colorado while stuffing his saddlebags with gold nuggets. Colorado then shoots at Hachita, but his gun is unloaded. Hachita tells him that during the night he took the bullets out of Colorado's gun, as the spirits had told him to do, and that Colorado also has to be killed because he is not Apache. However, Hachita turns his back on Colorado, who kills him with a knife he had earlier taken from Heshke. Colorado pursues McKenna and Inga, catching up to them at an ancient Indian dwelling high up the cliff. They fight. Colorado has Hachita's tomahawk so is the early aggressor, and would kill McKenna but for Inga's desperate intervention. McKenna gains the advantage over Colorado with some punishing blows, rendering him helpless. At that moment the marauding Apaches, presumably having followed the party's tracks into the mountain, enter the canyon and shoot up at the three. The Apaches thunder down to the canyon floor, shouting excitedly. However, the noise and the pounding of the horses causes a rockfall which in turn causes the valley floor to buckle and quake. The Apaches flee, and the three survivors descend the cliff and scramble for horses, barely escaping the collapse of the canyon walls, which buries the gold beyond reach. This is followed by the crash of Shaking Rock. Stunned and exhausted, Colorado and McKenna face each other. Colorado tells McKenna to stay away from him. McKenna tells Colorado to go far away and hide, that he will be coming after him. McKenna and Inga ride off together, unaware that the saddlebags of the horse McKenna is riding are stuffed with gold nuggets. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel for more videos and movies. Hit like and share your comments.